Oh, good evening. I just thought I'd uh, throw this out. When I first started this, I was talking to this girl named Mary. Around number 27, I started talking about her. She's over in uh, Akira, Africa. And uh, her and her mom runs this uh, shelter for uh, abused families. And uh, during the talking to Mary, I told her that I learned how to do this YouTube thing. Well, they got uh, Wi-Fi over there, and she actually looked me up and liked it. And she asked me to buy a chip. So I bought a chip, and I was waiting for a package that uh, came here, and I was going to send it to her. And I decided, hey, I'm going to put that chip in there and download all the videos I have, 33 of them. So the first 33 of my YouTube videos are on a big screen TV over in Africa. And I was talking to Mary yesterday, and I was curious if they're still watching those stupid things. And uh, what Mary told me is that they are for about three hours a day it's nothing but me on that screen and according to Mary people like me but here's the ironic part they don't really talk to Mary they talk to her mom and her mom, through Mary to me, has told me that my video has actually changed the way people think over there in Africa. When they watch my videos, a couple people are doing devotions. Apparently one of them has already wrote to uh, uh, Charlie and got the uh, in touch devotions and uh, one of them wrote to David Jeremiah he got his devotions now I profess to be the worst Christian in the world but here's the ironic part Mary's mom told me, and I'm against it, but the people over there in Africa really look forward, and they will sit for an hour, waiting for Mary's boss to put me on that TV. And she said that there's anywhere between 40 and 60 people children included now they have uh, divided up because a few of them my uh, uh, language is not suitable and they won't air those that they separated to the children which I can fully understand but they don't look at that. They said that I'm just as human as they are. And it really uh, impresses me. I'm thinking about taking my 120 some odd videos and putting them on a chip and sending those. You know? So anyways that's just what I'm thinking about doing I doubt very seriously if any of my videos are going to go viral not because of their content 
But the thing is, there's no... drama involved, there's no death and destruction and blood and guts and all that rigamortis garbage in any of my videos. It's real to life. Just like the video I did yesterday. All lives matter. Human beings. If you got arms and you got a body and whether you got facial hair or not, that don't matter. <laughs> My family hates it. But anyways, it, it, it just doesn't matter. If you're a human, made in God's image, your life matters. Now this thing that uh, policemen are going through, I am totally against Hillary, and what she said. I am totally against Obama, and what he said. Police have been around since creation. Romans had policemen walking the streets of Rome, England, Israel. Even the temple had palace guards. What's the difference between a guard and police? Nothing. Get a life. You need people to watch out for other people. Now the destruction of those that watch out for other people is totally wrong and barbaric. I thoroughly believe and this is what I will say until the day I die. People watch the TV. They see what's going on. And in their mental mind, and everybody's mental mind is totally different, there's a few that says, I can do better than that. Watch me. And they do. They go out and try Right now we're going through this thing of killing cops. But Hillary is wrong to bring up the black. Obama is wrong to bring up the black. Blacks are not killing cops. Human beings are killing human beings. That's just the way it is. Everybody should just put it in perspective again. Human beings are slaughtering human beings. Totally asinine. Now what does God say about it? In the Bible, in Genesis, there was a Tower of Babel. Some king wanted to build a stairway to heaven. Well, they built that stairway. And he went up on top of that stairway, took a bow and arrow, and no, nope, gotta go higher. God looked down on them and confused their language, mixed up their tongues. They all started talking in their own language, but they weren't understood by the guy right next to them who used to talk the same language. But put yourself in the shoes of that day. Now let's go a couple thousand years ahead. Christ came, lived for 33 and a half years, and was crucified. He told his disciples to stay in Jerusalem until I send the Holy Spirit. He sent the Holy Spirit. Peter. Peter was the one 
that when they were out on the boat and Jesus was walking out to them, the waves were big, the storm was going. Jesus said, come to me. Peter jumped out of the boat and started walking on the water. And then he looked around, took his eyes off Jesus. And what did he do? He sank. Save me, save me, save me. Jesus reached out and brought him back up. O oh, ye of little faith. The night that Jesus got arrested. Peter said, I will go to death with you. Jesus looked at him and said, Peter, before the cock crows, you have denied me three times. He denied him. And that third time, the cock crowed. And I believe this. I believe Peter was in the eyesight of my Lord. And when that rooster crowed, Jesus turned his head seen Peter. Peter had just denied Jesus the third time and looked at Jesus. The cock crowed. Their eyes met. Put yourself in Peter's shoes. Talk about being scum of the earth. Low life. Peter took off and cried around the corner. Just like any other human being would when you do something as stupid as what he just did. But what happened at Pentecost? What happened when the Holy Spirit came? Peter, that egotistical, flamboyant, knuckle-headed fisherman, non-educated, he was dumb according to the Pharisees, he was worthless piece of crap, according to the guards. He started speaking. In Israel, there were different tongues in Israel, different languages. But when Peter spoke, thousands accepted Christ in different languages. Because what they heard in their ears was what they understood. Now did Peter speak Chinese, Japanese, Americanese, English, Hebrew? Peter spoke Hebrew. But the Chinaman understood the words, each and every word. The African, who doesn't know Hebrew, the Jew who doesn't know Hebrew. The Pharisee who doesn't know Hebrew. Heard Peter's words and understood each and every word. Now that's the power of God. And that same power can be brought here to the United States. But the thing is, We put two words under God in our Pledge of Allegiance. And the Christians took it out of the schools. I believe the Christians took the church out of the schools. I remember going every Wednesday morning to Birchwood Baptist for Nellie Biderman, like I've stated before. That was taken away by Christians. Why? We need to get back. We need to, get, need to get back to where it was. Now, is Donald Trump going to do it? No. He's only one man. He needs support of the nation. Now, how can you get support in a nation that is divided? house divided cannot stand. That comes right out of the Bible. Don't believe me? Look at the Gettysburg Address. Abe Lincoln quoted the Bible three times in the Gettysburg Address. House divided cannot stand. 
like I've stated before. Russia predicted the United States is going to fall in on itself and they don't have to raise a gun, they don't have to raise a weapon against it because the United States is going to fall on itself internally by its own stupidity. And that's exactly what's going on now. Some idiot is watching the news and says, Gee, only five cops? Watch me go out and kill six. Oh, look at all the gays in that one bar. Well, I know where there's a gay bar. I'll take my semi-automatic and go in there on a Friday night. That's what's going on. And if I'm wrong, prove it. Prove to me that I'm wrong. So with that, just food for thought. And I'm still thinking of taking all these videos and putting them on a chip and sending them to that, might as well say, African homeless shelter because that's what it is. It deals with abused families that are watching my videos. And according to Mary's mom, their lives are changing. I got one subscriber, my niece. My average videos right now are being viewed by four people. I don't know who those four people are. They're probably family. Like I said, the ones I want to watch these videos Corey, Chris, Nathan, and Evangeline. That way they know who their real father is. And can understand where I'm coming from. That's my wish and my prayer every day. Plus praying that I can go home. And I don't mean home. Not in this world. I'm not in this world. I'm of this world. Like that song says, This world is not my home, I'm just a passing through. My treasures are laid out somewhere beyond the blue. The angels beckon me from heaven's open door, but I can't feel at home in this world anymore. Oh Lord, you know I have no friend like you. But if heaven's not my home, then Lord, what will I do? Food for thought again. Suppose you go to heaven. How do you know that's what you want? Because nobody knows what heaven is. Heaven on earth is watching somebody accept Christ. With that, I'm going to close. Have a good day, and this will be up shortly. God bless. And I'm looking at 1850.